So there's two brand new masks inside of Camera Raw and Lightroom. The first one works pretty well. I've got a couple of tricks to make it work better. And the second one out of the box just works terrible, but I've also got some tricks for you so you can get it to work really well. First one we're gonna look at is facial hair. Now I'm gonna show you an interesting way to use this though. So we're gonna choose develop and we're going to grab our mask. And then of course we're gonna select the person. Now you'll see if we roll over here, we get facial hair. Now here's an interesting thing. If you have a person that doesn't have facial hair, that will not even appear as an option. So what we're gonna do here is we're also gonna grab the hair. So now we've got the hair and the facial hair together. And we're not gonna create two masks, we're just gonna create a mask. And what that does now is it puts all of them into one mask. Let's look under the exposure. If I pull that exposure down, look at that. I can just darken everything. I don't even have to refine that mask in this case. So, you know, if you wanted to darken it down a little bit, you could. And I would also, when I'm doing that, to give the hair a better quality, go under texture and just pull it a little bit to the left and notice how it just kind of softens it. If you increase that texture, it makes it look more wiry. And of course, if that's the other look, let's do that now. Let's go for... Um, the opposite look. So let's go for a more wiry look, Santa Claus, so to speak. We're going to take the exposure and now we're going to push it higher into the whites. And what we want to do is just take the highlights back just a little bit so it doesn't look too artificial. And you could go the other way. So I felt like using the facial hair with the hair together can produce some pretty good results. And if you're getting any value out of this video, Hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, you won't miss any of my videos. The other new mask is selecting clothing, but I have to warn you, it doesn't work very well. But I've got a few tricks up my sleeve to actually make this useful. So let's go into the masking. And then the person will be detected. Once the person's detected, just click on the person and now you'll see all the different attributes that you can select. The one we want to select is clothes. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose Create Mask. Now, as I told you, the initial selection is not good, but wait for the tips. If you look at this, it's kind of like, why did they even ship this? It doesn't even look like it's ready. I can see it's in her hair, it's on her skin. We need to fix this. All right, we can kind of cheat this by using other masks. So watch this. So we're gonna choose Subtract. Let's fix the hair first. So once again, we're gonna choose Person. This is going to select the person once again, click on here. And this time we're going to choose hair and click create mask. Look at that. It did a better job of selecting the hair than the clothes did and it subtracted it from the clothing. Now let's try and do something with the skin on the arms. All right, so let's see what we can do here. We're going to choose subtract once again and we're going to choose the person. And then we're going to use the skin. Now, this time we're gonna use body skin. You can see it's not perfect. It's not doing a great job here. Some photos, this will work better than others. Just remember, this is for your photos, not for the demo photo, but I'm gonna show you how to get this much, much better. So we're gonna choose create mask. All right, so we have another tool that we'll use in just a moment to completely clean it up. But first, why don't we do something with the color in the clothing and it's going to make it so much easier to see and work with. So let's change the color of this neutral shirt to more of a blue. So let's go under the hue and drag the hue to the left. As we do, we can start to see we're changing it. We're getting more of a blue. Now this is a pale blue. We can make it a darker blue by going up under exposure and pulling that to the left. We want a little bit more color in here. Let's go to saturation, pump that up a little bit. And if you can't get everything you need there, we can actually also go to the temperature and pull that up a little bit. And now we can get a pretty bright blue. Now, as you can see, it's much easier now to see the areas we need to fix. So let me show you how we'll fix those. So let's go back into our mask and we're gonna choose subtract. Now under subtract, grab a brush. Now here's the important thing. Make sure auto mask is turned on. This will detect the edges and help us 
remove this. So let's just click to remove. I'm going to make this brush a little bigger, the right bracket key. All right, so let's go in here. We're going to clean it up from the arm. If you go over a little bit, don't worry, we can fix that later. All right, so we've got rid of the overspray. Now we've got some areas we need to add the blue back in. So you guessed it, we're going to choose add. And now we're going to grab the brush. And now we can go in here and we can just paint it back. And there you go. And now at this point, if you wanted to change the color, you definitely could. We could go through all kinds of different colors at this point. And we could even go close to Pantone Color of the Year, Viva Magenta. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. If you did, drop a comment underneath and let us know. And if you want to know what all the new features are in Lightroom 12.3, check out my other video right there. And if you're new, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, you won't miss any of my tutorials. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.